Steed and Aloha Meatheads. Welcome back to the non turreted Titans feature, bringing you the Dickerous Maximus himself with a mastery and a carry to show you a bit of technique and how to use this TD properly into great effect. Firstly, let your dicker hang low. Your balls are showing. Impressive. Yeah, baby. You got 15 degrees of gun depression. Fantastic for cresting ridge lines and popping people with your over 300 alpha. But the question du jour is always the horn or the dick. Naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> so let's take a look. Dicker Max or Nashorn? Well, they are similar, but still rather different. 100 hit points of difference, not a huge thing, but can be very useful in the battlefield. View range exactly the same. Look at the DPM difference though. Dicker Max is paling with 2200 versus 2500. The penetration on the Nashorn is much higher, although I don't find that to be much of an issue if you just load APCR on the Dicker Max. The shell velocity is very slow on the Dicker Max at only 805. And the rate of fire is much higher on the Nashorn, which gives it that increased DPM. There are other differences. Let's explore them in Armor Inspector, where this becomes obviously evident to all. There is the Dicker. See that red? There's actual armor on the Dicker Max, and especially when you're exploiting the gun depression, you will get bounces off that top there. That happens more frequently than you would think. And side scraping is quasi possible. Uh, you see the back panels there are red and people will shoot them if you're hiding behind rocks and stuff and so you get more bounces with the dicker than you would think and the dicker is harder to finger with he than the nashorn as you can see flat sides here you can get it and of course into the open top is bad news but look at how there's still so much red on the armor with he uh, we'll switch over to the nashorn and take a peek at how it fares with he and ap from the cromwell Wow, look at that difference. Just all penable. <laughs> uh, uh, startling difference here. There's just no way to angle or do anything and not get penned. The armor is so poor on the Nashorn. HE rips through it at almost any angle you can think of except that front upper deck. So great DPM and other attributes, but bounced out w without having much in the way of armor. However, this isn't about the Nashorn, this is about the bigger dicker picker upper. So let's head out onto the field with the tier six non turreted Titan and see what kind of learnings and strategies we can put to work. And please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks. Okay, Yukon, really digging this new map. And we've got a little Toes platoon going with Shira, latest recruit to the Toes clan. Happy to have you on board. If you want to join the clan, drop me a line and I'll let you know what the requirements are. They let me on board, requirements mustn't be too high. Um, I like playing with she -Ra because she -Ra knows how to spot and knows my play style. So she -Ra's moving up to this bush that I'm going to use because it has great opportunities for gun depression with the Dicker Max and um, she -Ra be spotting. And unfortunately, our heavies are going to set up a 2v7 because I guess they want to die early. Typical heavies in this game these days, they just won't follow the spotters and uh, as we light people up, but I'm going to use our spotters. And this is a great initial spot to get set up, but then I can take a look over here and see that we have two tanks, looks like a light and a medium up on the corner. We just put down the Cheeto, but there they are. And I'm going to see if I can sneak a shot into these guys into the waterfall area. At the very beginning of the game, you may have noticed that T-37, Ignati, said 07 to me, and I totally missed it. It's actually a player who I platooned with in the very first video I ever put on this channel. Um, Ignati was in a 252U, bouncing tons of shots. A very good player, and I'm very happy that I get to do this sneak move and pop one right in his face. Sorry, Ignati, my man. And uh, we're going to put him down. she -Ra rushes in. We're forcing a 4v2 here. They have one support guy in the back who's also being occupied. Down goes Ignati. Sorry, buddy. And uh, I'm going to try to get some HE to the back of this Cromwell. 
but that kill gets stolen, which is fine by me. We're really pushing here. Great, so we're looking good. We got five people on this side. We lost both of our heavies who went into town, as they are clowns. Two nothings is nothing. That's mathematics, son. You can argue with me, but you can't argue with figures. And now we have their heavies to worry about, and as you can see, I'm only spotted once I fired. So up here at this distance with heavies that have very poor viewing range, I can camp and manufacture shots. So I'm gonna let the team spot them up and I'm gonna get in position, use this rock as a bit of cover. See how I can help the team put these guys away. Now that's a rush shot, which I should not have done because I miss this opportunity here. So what I really need to do is slow things down a bit. Focus on getting clean shots. This T29 needs to be put away. Nothing hasty, don't risk that one in that very tough turret. And now unload. Tried for the tracking shot, just missed it. I'm still unspotted, as you can tell. And I get this one in. <laughs> yeah, nice one. Tracking throws off his shot. Unfortunately, Shira goes down. Oh, shit! Two heavies left. Somehow we've turned a 5v3 into a 2v3. Lost three players, and now we have to do a big uphill climb. Here comes a KV-2 poking out. I get one shot into him, and I'm not sure what he thinks he's going to do. But whatever it is, it's the wrong idea. Ooh, yeah! Nice. That guy was the most worrisome because he could one-shot me, and then I think this game would have been done. Our Rudy is so beat up. Basically, he's ram damage away from being killed. And now I have to work this Black Prince here. APCR to pen for sure. I've got five AP rounds left. And I would like to use those to cause max damage. Black Prince has dropped off the minimap. Rudy is not spotting. This is getting a bit hairy because I don't know where the Black Prince is, but I still have full HP. I have to spot him myself. Ah, uh, fired an APCR on him, did not penetrate. Gonna reset camo, and the team starts throwing out salt. Loser. <laughs> and uh, urging the Rudy to please get back in the game. Spot, flank, pincer move, get something going here to help out. Don't be frozen in fear, we need some help. And I need to work on this Black Prince in order to get a hit point advantage over him. He's got a deep hit point pool and a lot of armor in comparison to me. And a fast firing gun. Now he's distracted by the Rudy, I can see that. I'm gonna move in, get that nice turret shot going. He's gonna try to bust a move on me, but he's also again distracted by the Rudy. Obvious easy shot for me. Down to four AP rounds. Rudy gets a nice tracking shot into him. Ah, damn. So, bounced off the turret, took a shot, but I have tons of hit point uh, superiority. I'm just going to move in, take the shot. Put him down. That was a lot of work. But we managed to pull it off. Happy to see that Rudy got involved. And I load the kids up in the back of the Dicker Max, just like a Red Rider wagon. Drag it down the sidewalk over to the Golden Arches. Kids are happy. Everyone's ecstatic. And helping to lead the team to the win with 3,300 damage and two kills. Yeah, Shira, 63%er, Toes Clan member. And getting the damn near Smorgasbord. That's one for everybody at the table. Got six people shot and touched and hurt and the mastery. Now let's take it over to Canal. It's another Toes Platoon, this time with the Camtastic Camper himself, the Catastrophic Cannon. You've seen him in Chimeras and Smashers and all kinds of good stuff on this channel. And he's going to be a good platoon partner and go to the northwest corner and spot. I like the northwest corner. I've mentioned it before on Canal. It's a great spot for TDs and IR1. So... I'd like to go there. I'm gonna use him to spot as he heads there and I'm going to go up this hill. That's usually where I start and see if I can get shots onto any of the enemies, especially the reds. You might wanna traverse across that open plain there 
if they get spotted up. So far, I don't see anybody. I'm about to be surprised by this thunder. Man, they are quick, and this guy's got all the way to the northwest corner and got a shot on the Camtastic Camper in that short amount of time. However, this Tiger 131, I believe it is, get a blind shot, and as you'll see in just one second, I actually do manage to connect with it. And now I'm just gonna drop the adrenaline and burn this guy down. Take a quick peek to see if I can help Kato. Cannot. Yeah! Okay, cleared out that tiger. And there's the thunder. But just too late. Kato is cleared out, and I'm gonna make a move on the thunder. I'm gonna drop my speed boost and hug the edge of the map line in order to get there as quickly as I can and as sneakily as I can. I want to put this thunder away. So I hug the corner or, or the edge rather to keep as much distance as possible from me and the red so I don't get spotted. I'm gonna use my incredible gun depression to poke up over this ridge and drop a little bit of love right into the thunder. Be careful because I'm gonna smash him. Yeah. And down goes the Chunder. And the team is also going down. Just lost. Look at that. One, two, three guys in quick succession. Man, those people are morons. Got this anniversary here, P43. And there's a shot coming up I missed, which is critical, unfortunately. I'll show you that one in just a sec. And I'm about to get pinched off here. They haven't spotted me, but I'm sure they know about where I am. So I need to work quickly. T1 taken down, I am now definitely spotted, and I'm very wary of that anniversary P43 cup. There he is. This is number one bullshit. Ugh, and if I had hit that shot, it, this would have been an easier match. I say, I'm gonna smash your boy. I'm still full health. I'm gonna smash this guy, finish him. No, I'm not. Now I'm gonna put him away. Using that gun depression. Yeah. And what I've been trying to do up until this point is keeping the team between me and the Reds, but I uh, can't do that anymore. T25, he wants to show off his ass. Oh, yeah! How you do, sir? Oh my god, he just ran in. Decisions, decisions. Here's another dicker. One day I just want to line him up and send him to me. That's A-OK. -okay. Yagpanzafia, you may have seen him as uh, also featured in our non turreted TD section earlier. Get the shot in him, try to back up. This shit's no. Ugh, Pool's Metal almost had the raisin. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game First class, over. 2,700 damage, legendary damage a ton. Tons of enemies destroyed, and all the good medals, but still a loss. Unfortunately, with the six kills, 2,700 damage. Damn it, team. And there it is, the full, the real smorgasbord, a little taste of something for everybody on the table. <sighs> Tough loss on that one. But hey, I hope you're enjoying the non-turreted TD feature. It's, it's a lot of fun. I have some more coming. I think the T28s are coming up, the T28 Protos. I know they're semi-turreted. If you got your own lane play, send them in to me, meet underscore locker at alter.audio. Meet underscore locker. Pound 9911 for Discord. All the information is below. Discord channel invite, etc. We always have Seal Club Sundays every single Sunday. But remember, when you're out on the field, in the heat, facing the noobs, keep it salty, Pendejos. Oh, yeah!